Hey everyone. So as we discussed in the last video, uh, today's topic of discussion would be what is KPI and consequently building a KPI tree. So let's start by discussing what does KPI stand for. So KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator. A product is judged by many characteristics in terms of its activation, adoption, engagement, retention and referral. These are some of the big stages of a product journey. In these stages, uh, we come across some metrics that are used to define the success of the product. And these metrics can be said as a key performance indicator. So going by the definition, a key performance indicator tree is a powerful visualization method that allows an organization's objective to be broken down into more granular outcomes and relevant KPIs or metrics to track those outcomes. So basically a KPI tree is nothing but when we start from a business outcome and go towards a product outcome. In our last video, we discussed what is a business outcome and what is a product outcome. If you haven't checked that out, I would just suggest that you go and check that out first. So you, so you have a fundamental idea of what is a business outcome and what is a product outcome. So once you are aware of a business outcome and a product outcome, you would know that a business outcome is a lagging indicator and a product outcome is a leading indicator. So similarly, so when we try to break down how to achieve the business outcome, we go towards the product outcome. So let me give you an example of this KPI tree basically. So as you can see on your screen, let me zoom in. Yeah. So as, as you could see probably on your screen that we are starting from a particular objective and then we are branching out towards certain certain smaller objectives in order to achieve that big objective so we are going from why to how what we need to do and why we need to do to make the business move forward and exactly how would we do that so let's say our main business outcome or the main business objective is to grow profit now this can be transitioned into two branches growing the number of transactions per month or what we can do is grow average profit margin per transaction. These are both the ways of increasing the total profit. So the first branch can be further branched into growing the number of transactions per active user per month or we can directly increase the number of active users also. Then there is a certain limit to a branch. So the topmost branch that says grow number of transactions per active user per month. So we cannot further make this branch ahead because this is the stopping point of this branch. A, a branch will only move forward if there is meaning to do so. We cannot just make a branch move forward because we have to. So there is a limit of what would be the number of transactions per active user per month. Similarly, we can grow the number of active users. So we can either increase the number of new users per month or we can cut down the number of churned user per month or we can avoid any scalability constraints. So as you can see, we are moving towards certain smaller objectives in order to make the bigger objective possible that was to grow profit. So, so as we are on the second last branch that is grow number of new users per month we can further divide it into rising brand awareness. So we are just listing down the reasons to do to increase the number of new users per month. The second would be expand acquisition channels. There can be inorganic acquisition, organic acquisition and a lot of things. So you can increase your acquisition channels. The third would be rise activation funnel conversion. Similarly, if we need to cut down the number of churned user per month, then we need to improve the quality of the product. So basically, what is a churned user? A churned user is someone who has already taken your subscription, but now has left your platform and did not renew your subscription this time. 
So this is basically a churned user. So as we can see, we have finally reached some of the last branches of the tree, entire tree. This is called a KPI tree. So we have reached the last branches of the KPI tree. These are also called the roots of the KPI tree that make the possible of how. How are we going to achieve why? So these are basically called the key performance indicators. Rising brand awareness, expand acquisition channels, rise activation funnel conversion. These all are the things that are basically key performance indicators. So this was just a basic example of what is a KPI tree. Let me give you another example of KPI tree. So here our why or the main business goal is to product profit. That is the increasing the profit of the product. So that can be divided into two things. Either we can increase the total monthly value or we can increase profit margin per unit value. This can be further branched into revenue per value unit and cost per value unit. So you need to basically uh, increase either you, you can either increase revenue per value unit or cost per value unit. Similarly, in case of total monthly value, you can either increase active users number or monthly value per active user. Since you have to increase the total product profit, you can increase either of the branches to make the in, to make the left branch possible. Similarly, in order to increase the active num users number, you can either increase the monthly new users, you can either decrease the monthly churned users, or you can uh, increase the previous month active users. So this is basically the sum of all these people would be the active users that is per month. So monthly value per active user, this is our last branch. So this would be number of interactions per user per month into value per in one interaction. So basically we need to break it down, break the main why goal into smaller how goals and these how goals are basically our key performance indicators that are KPIs. If we need to increase the profit, we need to increase, if we need to increase the revenue, let's say, then we can either increase the revenue per user or we can increase the number of users. Increasing revenue per user without any improvement in the product just does not, does not make sense. So we will get ahead with the increasing number of users. So number of users would be active users plus inactive users on the platform. Active users are people basically who log into your platform. The frequency can depend entirely upon you. But these are the people who are active on your platform. And secondly, the inactive people who are about to churn. So you can either reduce the risk of churning or you can increase the number of new people. That will ultimately lead to increase in the number of users, which will ultimately lead to increase in, increase in the revenue. <clears throat> so what you will notice is that the root is a business outcome like grow profit, product profit, which then branches into product outcomes at the ultimate nodes. The nodes are called the roots also. So you start with the why and break it down to the how. So this is just what we have already seen in the previous slides. <coughs> that is revenue is equal to number of transactions into average value per transaction. Now revenue can also be written as number of customers into number of transactions per customer into average value per customer. So as you see from first step to the second step, we have broken down the term of number of transactions. Number of transactions equal to number of customers into number of transactions per customer. Now in this we have broken down the number of customers as new customers and repeat customers. And we can increase the number of new customers as number of new customers into conversion of new users to customers. So difference between a user and a customer is basically a person who is using your platform without actually paying for it is a particular user and a person who is paying to use your platform is your customer. So in summary, a product outcome can be to increase the conversion of new users to the customers, which might lead to 
optimizations on the account sign up page so the account sign up page is basically the page from which you enter into the uh, platform so in summary we can say that product outcomes are the smaller kpis that are basically that we need to tackle in order to tackle the bigger goal that is the business outcome so we need to keep a track of these key performance indicators at a particular frequency let's say daily monthly or weekly in order to see in which direction is your business outcome driven so that's it for this video guys i hope you got to learn something about kpis and thank you